In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the history of Gibson's discount centers, discount stores. Gibson's was founded in 1936 in Abilene, Texas by Herbert R. Gibson and his wife, Belva, who opened up a store called Gibson's Products, which was a novelty store at the time. He decided that he didn't want to do the novelty store anymore. So he refocused his business and opened up the first discount center of Gibson's in 1960 in Abilene, Texas, where he was previously operating the wholesale novelty business. The company grew by franchising stores to others who would franchise the store in a new concept that was franchising these stores. That's how the company grew so much. Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, once inquired that he wanted to obtain franchising Gibson's, but nothing came about. By 1964, there was 138 Gibson stores that were generating about $190 million in sales. By 1968, they grew to 434 stores and was operating $1 billion in sales. They also moved their headquarters as well around that time. By the early 1970s, the companies changed hand. The company changed hands where the sons, Herbert Jr. and Gerald, would take ownership of the company from their father and their mother. And by this time, by this time they had 684 locations across the United States. But that was their peak, was only 684. After they reached the height of 684 they started to decline after that around that time franchise owners started to withdraw from franchising the Gibson's name and their largest franchise Pemida which is was a chain that was acquired by Shopco which was another defunct chain they withdrew from Gibson's name and they started to open up their own discount stores. Pomida discount stores started to operate around that time. In 1984, June of 1984, they were sold to a company that was owned by Gary Chaffin. Chaffin sold the company in 1992 and the company went to Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 1996. Chaffin would reacquire the company in 1999 and by this time the headquarters was moved to Dodge City, Kansas. In November of 2002, it was announced that Gibson's would close all remaining of their 17 locations. Even though the corporate Gibson's closed in 2002, there are still two locations located in Weatherford, Texas and Carryville, Texas, that still operate under the Gibson's name. So I'll title this episode, or this uh, video here, Kind of Defunct. Because they still have, there's still two locations of Gibson's still open, although the Gibson's corporation is closed. They still have two locations, there is still two locations that are still operating under the Gibson's name. These locations are operated by Ace Hardware, though. The location in Great Bend, Kansas, was the lar had the largest sign, outdoor sign, in the state of Kansas for one at the time. Thanks for watching this video on the history of Gibson's Discount Center. Stay tuned for more videos tomorrow.